Okay, here's the deal. Laura was upset because she's not as smart as Tish. So we tried to make her look smart and it backfired. Whoa! It's like she's got a backstage pass to your brain. People can be smart in lots of different ways. You shouldn't have tried to make Laura into someone she's not. Tino, I know you want Dixon and me to like each other. Mom, I promise I won't mess with your social life anymore. Well, it's not that. I'm just worried that it's hard for you, being the only one of your friends who doesn't have a father at home. I don't know. I don't remember what it was like with Dad around. Anyway, what are you gonna do? Marry some guy just so I have a dad? <laughs> yeah, right. Mom, I think we'll be just fine the way we are. Yeah, we probably will be. Although I understand Dixon makes a very comfortable living. Give it a rest, sweetie, huh? I'm never gonna have a goal. Tino, you need to have balance in life. You work hard at school during the week, and I think on the weekend, having fun and hanging out with your friends are perfectly good goals. Hey, aren't you gonna complain about the food? In case you're wondering, it's curry cactus casserole. It's fine. Fine? Okay, now I'm a little worried. I think you need some positive energy therapy. And what might that be? That would be a soothing sea salt bath and an aromatherapy candle. Wait a second. It's you! It's all your fault! Sweetie, take a cleansing breath and tell me what you're talking about. That's what I'm talking about! All your cleansing breaths and stuff have made me too sensitive. Honey... Playing whale song CDs all the time, taking me on paint-your-own-ceramic outings, and mother and son Jane Austen film nights? You know... You made me an emotional wimp! I will never feel anything again! From now on, I have no emotions! Honey? You sound angry. Okay. No emotions after that one. Mom, I'm sorry I got mad at you. I knew you'd come around. Yeah. Uh, anyway, thanks. Life would be pretty bad without feelings, even if they do get you in trouble sometimes. I'm glad you think so, because you may have some feelings about this yummy dinner. Leftover, leftover curried cactus casserole. It's not fair. They goofed off, and we pay for it by not getting to hang with our friends. Yeah. Do you think it's time to bail them out yet? Okay, guys. A mom can only pretend not to listen for so long. I was wondering what you were waiting for. You know what you're doing. You're enabling them. Enabling? Did you just make that word up? Wait, 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 wait. I get it. We're making them able to keep blowing off their work by always coming to their rescue. So, we're actually stopping them from learning to do stuff for themselves. Which means that by helping our friends, we're really hurting them. That'd be a 10 on the right meter, compadre. Okay, how did she just convince me that we're the ones who are wrong? Answer that, and you've explained my whole life. Mom? I'm sorry I mangled your myrtle. Yeah, well, you're forgiven. I'm not sure I believe that, considering you're feeding me purple food with yellow spots. Honey, listen, I'm sorry you didn't get voted best or most anything, but you really do have lots of great qualities. They just don't happen to be on that list. Which is exactly the problem. You just have to be the best Tino you can be. Is Tino here? No, I'm pretty sure he just snuck out. Unless you can think of another reason there'd be a ladder up against the garage. Don't tell him I know, okay? I don't want him to lose confidence in his sneaking skills, but... Mom, I really appreciate you asking me what I think. Your opinion is important to me. Uh, sweetie, since Dad's not here anymore, why don't we... Oh, yeah. I forgot. Tino, if you're sad about your father not being here, you can say so. Okay. And if you're mad at me, you can say that too. Okay. And if you're mad at Dad, I'll dial the phone and you can yell at him. It'll be our new solstice tradition. I think I'd rather have pie. I'm sorry, honey. I shouldn't make jokes like that. This is gonna be the best solstice ever. Just you and me. Just you and me. But soon, it was just my mom and me. Only, not quite the way we planned. You want me to leave now so you could say bad words? That'd be great, thanks.